Blender is awesome software that allows you to create realistic fluid like liquids, ocean, beach waves, but also fire and smokes. However, the smoke simulation can be intimidating since there are a lot of settings that you must take into account. So today I'm gonna show you how you can easily create smoke simulation using Blender 3.2. For the final render, I'm gonna also show you how to use an AI to render the work at 4K resolution using a free upscale software which can save you a lot of rendering time. So let's get started. First I will start by downloading the skull head using Blender Kit add-on which is a time saving tool for 3D artists. If you don't have this tool, the link is on the description. I also used a Kalis that I downloaded from Sketchfab. Once it's done, select the scroll under edit mode, then select those vertices. After that, click Ctrl P, select separate by the materials. Now select the separated vertices, go to physics tab, click fluids and add a flow type. Change fluid type to inflow and add a velocity of minus 2 for the x and the z axis. Now those vertices are gonna be our smoke source for the simulation. Don't forget to uncheck them on the render menu in order to render only the smoke. Select the skull head, go to physics tab and use fluid. Select effector as type. The effector type is gonna be like a bouncing wall for our smoke. Also do the same thing for the callus. Add the cube, scale it up, make sure that it's gonna completely fill the used object. Then go to physics tab and add fluid and select domain. The domain is gonna be the environment of the generated smoke where it will spread over the simulation. Now I will show you my setting to obtain a good smoke simulation. Leave the resolution as it is for now, check adaptive domain, check dissolve which gonna dissolve our smoke after few times and select a time of 120. Check noise to obtain noisy smoke and decrease the strength value to zero. On the cache section, change type to all, then click bake. Alright, now the bake is done, we are gonna play the animation and we see that our smoke goes to the wrong direction. To fix that, select the domain, then on the gas type, change density and heat value to minus 2. Rebake again. And here we have our downside smoke. Ok, let's give our smoke a material, for that select the smoke domain and add a material, delete the principal BSDF and add a volume BSDF, then plug it into the volume. volume info and two math nodes. Change the first one to power and the second one to multiply. Then add a color ramp and plug it into the color. I choose a blue and a green color but you can choose any color you want. Now duplicate these nodes then plug them into emission and density. Change the power and the multiply value until you get something that you like. For the floor, 
I used a brick materials then. Added a hair particle system with the skull head as object render at a scale of 0.7. Add a vertex group for the render. Check rotation, change orientation to normal tangent, and increase randomize phase and randomize phase. Use Blender Kit to download the fence and place it over the scene. For the background, I used a sample plane with a dark blue color. Go to the world setting, add a sky texture and plug it into the background. Change the intensity to 0.05, decrease the sun elevation to 7.3, sun rotation to 42 and altitude to 11. You can also play with the dust and ozone to obtain these results. For the final render, I changed the domain resolution to 256, however, when I bake it, I noticed that the generated smoke doesn't go down. So to fix that, select the domain, change the density and the heat to minus 5, then select the separated skull part and change the initial temperature to 4, rebake the simulation and that's it, now you have our mist smoke. To render the video at 4K resolution, I used an AI upscale tool called a Chainer, which is a free software. With this tool, you can obtain awesome results and gain a lot of time, because Chainer gonna allows you to transform low resolution image to high quality image using AI. To do that, first download the zip file of the software, extract it, then open it. Now go to PyTorch and click install. It's gonna take some time depending on your internet connection. Once it's done, click File Iterator and add upscale image from PyTorch and save file. Plug those nodes together, then upload a model. There are different models for AI upscaling which can be found in the wiki page, link on the description. For my part, I used another model that I downloaded from other software. You can also find this model on the description. Then select the file directory of our image and save it file for the upscaling image. Click run. Now go to the upscale file and you can see that he creates a 4K image. If we compare them together you can notice the difference in quality. So that's it for today's video. If you like it subscribe to my channel and see my other video by just clicking. Thank you.